Okay, so here we are again on the 650 Dozier with uh, like a G GPS system set up on it. <clears throat> and I want to show everybody how to start this system up. That way we can get better utilization out of the system that we've purchased. So the first thing you want to do is you want to reach right down here behind our GPS system and there's a switch you can find right here on the back. And then you want to flip that switch down once you flip that switch down, it'll look like it's not going to do anything. If you'll give it just a minute, <clears throat> it'll power up. And most of the time, majority of the time, these systems are already going to be set up on these machines. If they're not, ask your supervisor or whoever, and they can give you the model. I've got numerous videos on here to show you how to put a model in ask them to send it to you, get you a flash drive, keep it in your pocket. Uh, let's try to keep things moving and try to learn and try to get uh, get out ahead of things a little bit. As you can see, our system's coming up. Let's give it a few minutes, let it come all the way to the top. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do the offsets and everything. So now that the system's come up, we've already got our model in there and everything. All we're gonna do is reach right down here and we're gonna hit our grade button. And it's gonna go on to our job. Give it a second, let the GPS contact everything. Start syncing with the base. It doesn't <clears throat> doesn't come up really quick or if it says this note right here that it's saying GPS solution quality is below solution threshold right now we're in a hole on a uh, vault that we're doing so what we may have to do is we may end up having to move the machine and sometimes whenever you start moving the machine it'll it'll grab that signal without having to do much more And there it is. So if you notice, it says fill 1364. So what I'm gonna do is we're, we wanna go to the vault bottom, so I'm gonna go to configure model, and I'm gonna turn on the bottom of this vault and so that we can see the bottom of that vault. I've got many videos on how I do all of this. So just look back in my box and you'll see them. So now we're, uh, we're on our model, as you can see here. This is showing our line. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to back the camera up so that you can see my lever over here. Because what you've got here is you've got the top button here on the right side of the screen, the bottom button, and your top button. If you notice, right here, you're going to see it start counting backwards, a little number. So when I go down, see that pop up there, negative 150, I want to do a minus 130 on this particular one. Um, if you notice I got green here because I've already been grading on the bottom of this. Once you've done this and you've got your offset, <clears throat> come up here and you press automatic manual, automatic manual. This turns your machine on so that it can go auto. Then all you're gonna do is just push your button here and you see them go red. That means stay back because it is a it's automated from that point. Then all I'm going to do is just push the blade, push the machine to go forward, and now it's going to do it for me. You can watch those, and I don't have my hand on the lever at all, and it's going to grade for me, keeping everything exactly where it needs to be, nice and smooth. best 
take your time a little bit, go slow. The slower you go, the more precise you're gonna go. As you can see the numbers here on the screen, they're barely getting in and out of tolerance. Uh, once the dirt starts running out from in front of the blade, you're gonna push this button here again. That turns it off. If you notice these went to yellow, you're gonna pick your blade up. You're gonna back back up. And you're gonna start all over by pushing this front button again whenever you get back. This machine is set up to where that you have to get it within a foot for the auto to take place. But once it takes place and you hit the auto button, sorry, then it does it itself. It goes where it needs to go. Hope this video is helpful. Let me know if you need any more information. Be glad to do another one. Thank you.